Hi. Hi. I'm Mike. <laughs> How long has this channel been open? <laughs> <laughs> totally forgot. One, two, three. Hi, Hi. I'm Nemi. And I'm Michael. And welcome to Mike. And Nemi plus jealousy. Good or bad? Both. Does love have to have jealousy in it? Mm. Like, what if you said, I love you, but I'm not jealous for you? Is that actually love? Can I share something mind blowing? But it kind of comes together as a. I, I feel like a confession. It's a confession that. I have a confession to make. I feel like. I haven't been loving you. <laughs> okay, let okay. me read this. Let me collect my thoughts here. I want to quickly share three marks of fake love. Fake love! Fake love! The first one is limitation. So limitation is very conditional love. Like, I'll love you if you do this. Right. I'll love you only if you do that. And so when my love would die for you is also when my kindness would die for you. When love dies, mm -hmm. kindness becomes its substitute. It's like, oh, I don't love you, but I'm just going to try to keep being kind. Right, right, kind right, 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 right. When love is expected, like, oh, I expect you to love me. Mm -hmm. No amount of one's kindness can actually substitute for gen like love. Right. It's genuine. It's like, oh, I'm doing this for you. No, I'm, I've done the dishes. I took care of the kids. I, I provided you with money. I bought you all these things. You know, I was kind to you. I never was harsh to you. You know, I did all of these things, but, you know, I didn't love you per se, but I was so kind to you. Isn't that just enough? Aren't you just satisfied so is enough? You? Is that your confession? <laughs> <laughs> no. no, no, no. <laughs> you never loved me. You were just kind to me. <laughs> no. Well, no, I think a part of it, I think there are segments of it that are true. Right, but that not you just fall fully. back on it, yeah. Yes, because I find that many times I'm kind to you. Mm. When it's really difficult to love, to love you, me. I'm mm. just kind right. to you, right? right? But mm. lately it's been more, you know what, I'm not going to be kind to you. I'm going to stand firm and then deal with the issue. Mm. And that's love trying to resolve that that too i guess it could be yeah. sometimes you have to be kind but i think in the past i was always just being kind like it was always kind of giving in giving yeah, in giving yeah, in yeah. kindness 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 but inside i was like mm, <laughs> i'm not satisfied like i'm kind of mad I'm kind yeah of, i think that was my first stage and the second mark of fake love fake love fake love is is control uh, this is when it goes up a level ouch it's like i'm gonna control you uh, what, what are you doing at this time? Who are you talking right. to? Wait, why are you talking to this person? What are you thinking much? right now? What are you thinking right uh -huh. now? The mark of control. Now let me kind of break this down. These days, Galahad tells me sometimes. Oh, like, stop controlling me! <laughs> why do you keep telling me to say this? Or why do you keep saying that? Stop controlling me! And then, as parents, we quote unquote out of love tell or instruct a like child to do them, something yeah. or nag them and then they go like stop controlling me and I'm like wow where, what is the balance between uh, that was, right. that's interesting right and then yeah. we can do that to each other yeah and sometimes I can be like that to you as because we work together on YouTube like what time are you working what are you yeah, doing here yeah, yeah, yeah. you should do this here how many hours did you spend editing that video yeah are you are you eating here this time and that very desire to control is fake love fake love the thing is the key word here i think is desire for me to desire to control you like no you can should do this at this time why didn't you come here at this time who are you talking to you this late sometimes it, it could be important to raise those kind of conversations yeah. but if my desire in my heart, right it's it, it depends on your intention yes mm. for the kids would be why aren't you eating when I tell you to? Why aren't you putting your socks on right away? Blah, blah, blah. Like, what are so many things? Yeah. But is it my desire just to be heard? Or, I don't know, powerful or convenient? My selfishness mm. in whatever way it is. I'm mm. trying to fulfill myself. If that's my desire of myself, then that's fake love. And the reason it's fake love, this is what was mind-blowing to me, mm. right? There is always risk when you love. When you love someone... It's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice, and that sacrifice always is risky. Mm. Because to love someone, you're giving a part of yourself. Right. And there's no, there's no guarantee. 
Exactly. The reason why there's sacrifice and risk is because when you love someone in that way, you're becoming vulnerable. Mm. I'm gonna love you and give myself for you. Mm. Open my heart. If you don't reciprocate that or share that or give me back anything or don't mm. listen to me, I'm I'm be, I'm giving you a huge vulnerable part of myself to you. Right. And if you totally turn away or dismiss me or reject me, then that hurts. Yeah. So part of love requires that vulnerability mm-hmm. is is risky. Love is risky. Mm. Love is sacrificial. Love is open to pain. Mm. Open to pain. And love is not a desire to possess and control. Because to possess and control, you're barring that the possibilities for that pain and sacrifice. Yeah. Which is why you might also be barring your jealousy. I don't want to feel jealous ever. I don't want that to happen. Now I'm going to just control. I'm going to try to manage because I don't want to feel hurt. Mm. But that is fake love. That's singing fake love to me. So you have no guarantee that your love will be guaranteed or recognized Mm. or like appreciated or or reciprocated or acknowledged even. Yeah. And so that's why it has this risk or precariousness. Yeah. I think friendship too. Love is like climbing a mountain. Mm -hmm. Each step that you go up incrementally increases the risk that you take. Yeah. But once you meet at the top, I mean, it's great. The view is great. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if this is the best illustration. Like, you can fall off the mountain. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, get hurt. But basically, each step you take increases the risk, but it also increases the... Joy. Joy, yeah. Yeah. This is precisely also why... To love, it, it it requires, it's necessary to have waiting in it. Mm-hmm. And be okay with that? Are you bored? Yes. Oh no. So what are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> My brain shut off a while ago. Oh no. Okay, and very quickly, the, the, final, mo- <laughs> the final mark of fake love is detachment. This has to do with jealousy because if you love someone, but you bar your heart from ever having the option to feel jealous right then you're barring also the options that you're you're opening fake love instead yes you're actually then controlling leaning towards the path of controlling and possessiveness and detachment where you don't want to get hurt the fake love is non-jealous it's detached it's kind of possessive the real love is open and vulnerable to wounds it's waiting It's sacrificial and it's attached. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gives freedom. Mm -hmm. And that's Mm -hmm. why jealousy and love are important. But not, I guess sometimes love, you don't have to do that. Let's say you love a stranger, you don't necessarily have to, or you're loving a young child or someone who you need to be controlling of. Right. There are situations where you have to, you have to choose. Yeah. Can you share about a story that's very triggering for you that you were trying to share to your church folks how God is jealous? Yes. But oh my God. Nobody listened to you. And I think yeah. nobody listened to you because they thought you were just young and immature brat talking about how God is jealous. I'm like, are you kidding me? God is not jealous. You're wrong. No, they, what they said was jealousy is bad. We shouldn't be jealous people. And like, in general like to our friend like we shouldn't be jealous of our friends or we shouldn't be jealous of like some person in school so jealousy is bad they said yeah they said jealousy is bad all jealousy all jealousy except god's jealousy because his jealousy is perfect so any human jealousy is bad yeah it's a tainted the thing is poison yeah and they said especially jealousy in relationships is bad it's just bad and i was like no it's godly if it's a godly jealousy then It's a holy jealousy. Like, why would God create us to be jealous? It's like saying all anger is bad. Yes. And you need anger to catch criminals. Like, if no one's angry about crime, crime would just be a commodity. It would just be normal. Yeah, because when we usually think of anger, it's a negative thing. Like, oh, why are you being angry? Being angry is bad. Yeah. But we don't necessarily see it as a virtue, something virtuous to look up to. Whereas love is virtue. 
joy and peace and patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Those are all like virtuous things. Yeah, but like yeah. Jealousy, jealousy and anger. anger. Mm. Yeah, those are right. good things. Like those are good things too. They could be twisted. Even mm. patience could be twisted. Even kindness could be twisted to into something bad if you're just giving yourself all the time and right. like never drawing lines with people. At the church small group, when I was trying to share that jealousy in a romantic relationship is good because it's modeling God's jealousy for us not to have other gods. So I was trying to share that ideology and everyone was saying, no, it's bad. And our human jealousy will never be as perfect or as good as God's jealousy. So it just automatically makes all of our jealousy bad. Then is it bad for me to feel upset or jealous if another girl is coming at you? I would think be a normal reaction. It yeah, should be it, good that you're jealous. It should be just I would for find me it to, odd yeah. for you to think, you know what, I'm, I don't care. Great. I'm not jealous. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like her. Bad, but. So... Like, I'm not going to be upset at this girl who's, like, coming at you. So, is jealousy just a feeling, then, of being upset? No, I think it, it, it has a that? lot of stuff to it. Okay. It's like mutual ownership of each other. You become jealous when that is disturbed or that is compromised. Jealousy is an expression of love injured. Oh... If someone who was loved was never jealous, then they are pretty detached. Right. Because they're not giving any access. To their heart, yeah. To their heart. It, it thus is a sign of fake love. If it's overly jealous and it turns into controlling, that's also fake love though. Yes. So true jealousy that is good in a relationship and show signs of a healthy relationship is kind of a fine balance between those two. But I don't think it's right to say all jealousy, except God's jealousy because his jealousy is perfect, is wrong. You can't that say is, that. I'm still triggered by that. That's triggering, isn't it? I was like, there are authors who wrote books on human jealousy and why you need that in a healthy relationship. Yes. Now, will you be able to forgive? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they even remember like having that conversation. But all of them, like literally there were like five girls in that room and me. I was the only one who was saying jealousy is good in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Everyone else was saying, no, it's bad. And I was like, then if it's bad, why is God jealous? And they're like, but he's perfect. This is why we study theology. <laughs> Does it really have to do with forgiveness though? I don't feel like they sinned against me. True. Okay. I just like get very annoyed. It's like a pet peeve. Judging that. Judging that. Judging that. Judging that. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. <gasps> this is merch. That's Nami. Bye bye. What? <laughs>